Now to our coronavirus coverage and more vaccination clinics are set up this weekend as Sacramento area hospitals fill up with COVID patients. Case Area 3's Mike Tassell's live in South Sacramento this morning where one of those clinics will start giving out shots this morning. Mike. And good morning. Yeah, we're at the Pinnell Community Center. I'll step out of the way. You can see the sign already up, even though we're still a couple hours away from it officially opening. Uh, I'll get to more on the vaccination clinics open today, but let's start with those current COVID case numbers and the surge in COVID cases going on right now. According to the latest data from the Sacramento Public Health Department, uh, the current case numbers have not already exceeded the numbers for the summer surge of July 2020, but we're also on track to meet or exceed the numbers for last winter's surge. What does that mean? Well, it means right now in Sacramento County, they're averaging nearly 500 new COVID cases a day. There are currently 428 people in the hospital, 100 located in the intensive care unit. Listen. The other thing also to note is that um, both with the cases and with uh, the hospitalizations, the majority, 80 to 90 percent, are still people that are not vaccinated. They tend to get more severe disease. So if you're interested in getting a vaccine today, there are four spots in Sacramento County that are being set up as a vaccination clinic. Uh, the earliest beginning here at the Pinnell Community Center, others opening uh, staggered times throughout the day and closing at staggered times. Of course, you can get more information about all of this on the Sacramento County Department of Public Health website. And again, back out here live, one of the interesting things about uh, the common denominator in all of these new cases, according to the Sacramento County Public Health Officer, is the fact that they all seem to come back with a link to the Delta variant. Live at the Pinnell Community Center here in Sacramento, Mike Tassell, KCRA 3 News.